Right, um, I got this book the other day. Uh, it's called The Poacher's Companion. It's a good book. It cost me a quid on uh, Amazon. Got it from, and it's all about uh, the old poacher's ways, the old poaching methods, and weapons, and rabbits, hares, gate nets, long nets, whatever. All aspects of um, poaching, really. And it's got a section in it um, of net making. And it's just got the two pictures and the rest is just text just telling you how to make a net now then if you if you know me if you subscribe to my channel um, I make my own nets I am the traditional net maker and I've got several well I've got a playlist on my channel um, all aspects of net making mesh knots um, actual making a net starting a net finishing a net everything about net making and I think well you know not just I think but um, you can get a book on net making but some of them can be a bit complicated a bit hard to follow and whatever I think and even more with you know some books have pictures step by step but there's nothing you can't beat a video or someone showing you exactly how you do it you'll learn much much quicker and I'll just give you an example as I say it's got a section of net making in this book and <laughs> see if you can follow it all right it says now take your mesh in the left hand and hold it with the first finger and thumb in such a way that your first finger lies the length of the mesh on the side that is furthest away from you take up your needle in the right hand unwinding two or three lengths of twine from it and tie the end to the foundation rope on the left hand side. Now hold your mesh close under the foundation rope in the way stated. Bring the twine downwards from the foundation over the mesh and inside the hand over the second and third fingers. Then let the twine encircle those fingers by passing through between the third finger and little finger and then up behind the second and third fingers bringing it out between first and second fingers. Are you, are you following? Um, and then it says then pass it around the mesh under the thumb keeping it there by pressing the thumb on it lightly now form a loose loop letting this fall down over your foundation and in position so as to fall behind the right hand side of your mesh and down behind all of the fingers the loop should be about 14 to 16 inches long now push the needle point first up through the loop which is inside the hand and formed by the twine being passed around the second and third fingers it gets worse or better I should say cross back of mesh behind mesh and the fingers pushing it on away from you under the foundation rope and lastly passing it through the loose loop that has been formed in an upward direction point first now pull the needle right through still keeping the thumb and mesh in the same position and pass the needle through gradually pull it and you will notice the more you pull the smaller the loose loop will get now as the loop gets smaller catch it by the little finger and hold it firm there now remains to be done a very difficult part and this is the difficult part which must be done in a very skillful method as it is part of greatest importance firstly free the thumb and pull the needle up the knot comes until the knot comes up on the top of the edge of the mesh then free the second and third fingers and pull up the loop that has now been formed by the release of these two fingers to draw up the loop you must pull tightly with the little finger until all the slack is taken in with the loop of the little finger. Be careful to keep the needle tight at all times. Now lastly, the loop, this is on the small little finger, pull it up and gradually draw the small finger closely up to the mesh. When, it's, when it is close, free it from the small finger and draw up close and tight. The knot will now be completed and on the top of your mesh. This will be the first loop. Simple in it. 